Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. On April 12, 2024, Russia conducted a test from the Kapustinyar Cosmodrome, showcasing what the Defense Ministry hailed as the high reliability of the missiles, ensuring the country's strategic security. However, the details regarding the specific type of system employed remained undisclosed, leaving room for speculation. Citing open-source information, analysts suggest the possibility of a new iteration of the Topol Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, ICBM, known for its mobility and potency. The test launch displayed characteristics typical of high-altitude missiles, featuring sudden and erratic course changes designed to confound trajectory calculations and impact zones. While such techniques are commonplace among nations possessing advanced missile technology, recent events highlight the limitations of ballistic missiles in evading sophisticated defense systems, as demonstrated by Iran's attempts against Israel. The Topol missile, introduced in 1985, has served as a cornerstone of Russia's nuclear deterrence strategy. With its solid propellant and mobile launch capabilities, the Topol offers rapid deployment and heightened survivability in the event of a preemptive strike. Its successor, the Topol-M, further enhances these capabilities with advanced stealth technology and countermeasures against missile defense systems, ensuring the credibility of Russia's nuclear deterrence amidst evolving international security landscapes. Meanwhile, the RS-24 Yars represents a significant leap forward in Russia's nuclear arsenal, featuring multiple independently targetable nuclear warheads, MIRV, and enhanced stealth capabilities. Introduced in 2010, the Yars is designed to overcome missile defense systems with its versatility and range, underscoring Russia's commitment to maintaining strategic parity in the face of technological advancements by adversaries. The latest addition to Russia's nuclear arsenal, the Sarmat, NATO designation, Satan, too, stands as a testament to the country's continued investment in strategic deterrence. With an impressive range of 18,000 kilometers and purported capabilities to evade anti-air systems, the Sarmat reinforces Russia's position as a formidable nuclear power. President Putin's assertion of its invincibility underscores the Kremlin's commitment to deterring potential threats and preserving national security interests. In the broader context of strategic discourse, Russia's development and showcasing of advanced weaponry, including the Sarmat, Su-57, Kinzhal missile, and Zircon missile, serve as symbols of national strength and resilience. While their effectiveness remains untested in combat scenarios, their inclusion in strategic narratives bolsters Russia's posture on the global stage and underscores its determination to safeguard its sovereignty and interests. As geopolitical tensions persist and technological advancements continue to shape military doctrines, Russia's investments in advanced missile systems reaffirm its commitment to maintaining strategic stability and deterring potential adversaries, thereby shaping the contours of global security dynamics for years to come. That's all for now, see you later.